Somebody please explain. I'm genuinely confused. Oh, oh, I think I I think I think we actually have seen this before on this subreddit. In fact, I, I know that we have. But at the same time, it's still just so cool. If I understand correctly, this is either like salinated water or something of the sort evaporating and or freezing. I forget what the answer is. I'm looking through the comments and the jokes are about what you would expect. So I'm not really finding anything of value. Oh, here we go. Something evaporating, leaving a residue with a matched refractive index. OK, so it is just something evaporating and leaving behind residue. But that's still really cool. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Calvis. My name is Lumo, and today we are looking at r slash black magic tomfoolery, a subreddit dedicated to people and things that make no sense and yet are fascinating. Holes in reality filmed for our viewing pleasure. This is one of my favorite subreddits. There's always something weird and unexplained, and I like that, so let's just get right into it. This is what happens when you vibrate salt at high frequencies. Uh, this is something that I actually think I've seen before, where the, yep, the particulates will basically match the waveform's patterns of the vibration, if I understand correctly. Because, like, waveforms happen like along certain wavelengths based off of their uh their hertz i believe i think the hertz is just the repeating rate i'm not i'm not a particle man but <laughs> but i think that's how this works apparently that's not how this works according to the top comment apparently vibrating salt is absolutely nothing besides vibrating salt it won't make fancy patterns Apparently, you need to vibrate a rid a like very rigid plate at any frequency, and they'll be bounced into harmonic nodes, which is what this is called. That's really cool. The patterns are called semantics, and somebody get me a rigid plate to vibrate, please. Induction forge. All right, so this is actually something that I know about, which is weird to say, but I love this kind of thing, right? So what it is is it's basically the if i understand correctly i could be wrong it's the magnetic field interacting with uh iron and any of its alloys and it causes some level of i want to say vibration or just polarization not polarization but it basically causes a change in the metal that generates heat and i'm trying to remember why and maybe the comments have the answer uh the first comment is asking if they can stick something fleshy in there uh don't but apparently this is due to the alternating magnetic field, electricity uh, flows through the loop, causing heating, hence the result. Neat. So I was completely wrong. <laughs> Hidden quest object. Oh, that's weird. I've never seen an unspoiled fishing node in real life, and yet here we are observing one. I'm going to assume that there is a creature of some sort underneath the sand, and it's doing that to lure fish in. But at the same time, I'm not saying that I'm going to stick my finger there, but I kind of want to just to see what happens. It's probably some kind of muscle or mollusk or something. Let's see what the comments have to say. This can only mean one thing. A T-Rex has escaped and it's and it's on its way to flip a car and eat a lawyer. All right. So I don't think that's the answer, but I'm willing to believe that Th there is no comments. It's just people recycling the same joke over and over again. Oh, the sky has a leaking to that place in particular. Oh, okay. Um, weird. <laughs> I want to assume that there's a sprinkler or something busted in one of the buildings and it's just shooting out the door. But at the same time, I've seen really localized rainstorms. Not that localized, but I've seen them before. I had one day uh, at my old house where it was raining in the backyard, sunny in the front, and it was really weird. Eh, sunny air quotes. But it was really weird. So this kind of thing can happen. But I don't. I, it's weird seeing it. It's it's weird seeing it. It's just a weird line of rain. And apparently uh, someone in the comments is saying like, this just kind of happens. Oh, weather is cool. Lamina flow in action. I, lamina flows are just, they're cool. They're just really cool. I, I find them unsettling to look at. I'm gonna be completely real. This feels more like it's frozen, though, because, like, the water down below isn't reacting at all. Actually, no, I think it is actually frozen, which means it was a laminar flow. Uh, oh, uh, OK, no, no, I'm just wrong. 
I'm just actually wrong. So there has to be a drain basin or something in there. But the, oh my god, that's weird. That's weird. Oh, oh, that just this just feels uncanny to me. It feels wrong. Like it's cool as hell, but it feels so wrong. Visualization of magnetic fields. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay, now that's cool. I know they always showed like the polarity of magnets in textbooks as two like three quarter circles. I've never actually seen it happen, and that is the coolest goddamn thing. I love that. I love everything about that. Magnets are cool. They make so little sense to me, but everything is cool. Like, I get it. I get that they're just rocks with a magnetic field attached to them due to some arrangement of like molecules. But I like the stupid explanation more where there's just bits of gravity stuck inside the rock and that's how it works. That's not how it works, but I choose to believe. <laughs> Rubber band sorcery. All right, congratulations on your fishing wire, sir. I, a lot of this subreddit today has been like lovely. It's been like weird natural phenomenon and things that just aren't easily explained and that's really cool. This dude is just playing with some fishing wire in a rubber band. It's cool, and it's the least offensive thing you can do on the New York Metro, but it is still just rubber band and string. I don't want to be cynical, but I'm being cynical. That's all this is. Brain needs to start telling the truth. This will convince you that your eyes lie to you. I doubt it. have some traffic lights or stop lights. Yes. I put a cyan filter over them now. Now red light can't pass through a cyan filter, yet you're still seeing the red light, right? Well, I can guarantee you that there is no red light there at all. There's no red at all. It's your brain working overtime convincing you of the red. Can I prove it? Well, I can try. Let's block out the rest of the traffic lights. Now look, it was gray all along. There is no red. If you enjoy these, please like, share, or comment, and I'll make some. I, uh, I mean, that's that's cool and all, but it does explain something a little bit weird. When I was younger and in college, I had steampunk glasses that were tinted blue, and I couldn't see the red lights, so I just assumed that all the lights were off uh, to stop my car. Was that safe? No. <laughs> but I did it because I was an idiot in college. That that is neat. The fact that our eyes can kind of put together solutions to problems that are introduced by like kind of dampening one of our senses. I just think it's cool. I think it's cool that we can just do that. Our brain just works. Like, Stygian colors. Uh, I'm not sure if y'all know what that is, but it's like the colors that you can only see under certain circumstances and out of the corner of your eye. Like the Stygian blue, for example. Almost everyone's seen that one. Like, things like that, where it's our mind filling in information, it's neat. It's cool as hell. Fire Tom Foolery. Okay, so uh, this is just fire? This is just fire from like above being pushed below? It's cool. And I think that's what's happening because the fire is like very clearly trying. Don't put your phone in it. Don't put your phone in it. Oh, you, you scrungus, you put your phone in it. Why did you put your phone in it? Oh, your phone's broken, I think. Yeah, top common is that's what fire does when there's an upside down spray. Uh, apparently, they're, they're, they're giving you a reason to do this in your home and a method by which to do this. And I won't be supplying you with those because that's incredibly unsafe. That is incredibly unsafe. But they're basically doing a metal casting, apparently. That's cool. That's insane. I love it. And changes shape when clicked. All right. The crush a metric, what's it going to do? Okay, no, that is just cool. That there's probably an easy explanation, but that is just cool. I love that. I actually love that. Look, this is something that I would like happily use because I find it stupidly interesting. Um, yeah, top common is just it's crimped foil inside a clear plastic barrel and okay, cool, still neat. Uh, no. No, no, no. The comment under it is, I have one of these pens. That's not at all how this works. Neat. So apparently the top of the pen moves down slightly, which causes the foil to buckle. But you you still feel the ripples. That's cool. I, I want one. CGI? I feel like a lot of people associate bad video quality with a potato, but honestly, oh. I feel like the quality isn't that bad. I mean, it's not like great, but it's not horrible. <laughs> Oh, 
My god, this magic man! This magic man with his potato cam! That's just... Oh my god, that's so good! That is good! That's potato quality! It's so good! It's so good! I, I, I gotta imagine it's compositing. I don't want answers. I want to just enjoy it. Not falling! Yeah, this is weird, and the music is still unsettling. Uh, so basically, if I understand correctly, because the wiggle isn't broad enough, the ice just kind of scoots around, and it doesn't end up, like, falling, because it's basically just reacting to the movement, and because the movement is so back and forth, it just keeps it relatively central. I'm taking a guess. I am BSing you. I am doing my best. I'm not a John Science. I've never physics at all. You think I'm physics? I'm not physics. I can't teach you these things. But uh, the top comment is basically like, the rail never moves away from the center of gravity, so the wiggle's not broad enough. It also cannot push it in one direction or the other because of the ice and the speed is too high. Low friction force makes it appear like it's staying. Apparently, you push it at a slower force and it'll fall. Physics! Burning pills! Stolen because this subreddit doesn't allow for cross posts. Oh, I don't like it. Oh my god. So it's having like, what is it, like the devil tooth, devil foam experience? I think Mark Grober uh, made a bunch of like massive versions of this, but uh, ew, <laughs> I know that it's nothing but chemicals and that's what our medicine and medicine is good, but it's still just like, I don't like seeing it. I don't like seeing it. It makes me very uncomfortable. You still, you're gonna have to clean that off. Um, that's school equipment. Uh, you, we can't have you be doing that. And that's all the time we have here today on Calbus. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, maybe share this with a friend so y'all can just indulge in the black magic together. We're not about the occult here. We're about funny physics. If you do want more r slash black magic tomfoolery, there'll be another one popping up on your screen in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo, speaking at a normal volume for once, and I hope to see you in the very next Calpus video. Have a great rest of your day.